Hey everybody, welcome to our new video. We're gonna be showing you this 1944 World War II Army truck. So they got this as a collection piece. I mean, they bought it as a collection piece. So during um, World War or any Commonwealth War time, Canada, actually Indians might know this, right? Like we never study about Canada in, in World Wars. Uh, we always study about all European countries. I didn't know Canada had any participation in the war. The reason is, I, mean, I didn't, maybe I didn't study very well. <laughs> That's so hurtful. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think Canada, I mean, we never hear about Canada's uh, name in any war stories. Oh, okay. So, but actually what they were doing was that they were making this war equipment, um, not necessarily equipments, I don't know if they did equipments, but these vehicles, CMP truck, Canadian military pattern, that's what CMP. So they were making this truck and sending it to Europe, not necessarily to Britain, but all Commonwealth wars, so they supplied their vehicle. And yeah, they sent it for the wars in Europe. So we bought this, not we actually, he and his dad and his sister, years ago bought this one as a collection piece. So this truck was made for Second World War. Uh, so this was made particularly for that war and made in 1944 um, for the, so that's the war between Britain, Germany, where America came in and saved everybody. So that thing. So this is that vehicle. Yeah. So we're gonna show you inside, okay? All right. See, if you're wondering why there's no lights here is there are actual lights for it and it's camouflaged. The lights are right here. The reason why they have these tiny lights li designed like this mm -hmm. is so that when airplanes come over and what they're like, airplanes are looking for reflection. Mm -hmm. So this vehicle would have to be designed. That's why it's painted green, matte, n like you don't want any reflection. Uh -huh. And sometimes a light can be the thing that allows an airplane to, to spot you. them and then here find the target right uh -huh, so uh -huh. the lights are gonna be really small like that and they're set in so as you can see they're set right in there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that way you know they can they, they can, can still you. Mm -hmm. like you can still turn the lights on and it'll light your way but if you hear an airplane you turn off your lights this is completely hidden hmm. So there's okay. no reflection, no problem from airplanes. So this is different from our normal vehicles, even of that time, right? Yeah. This is designed just for the war. Yeah. You cannot use it on the road. So that's the radiator. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of fresh air going in there that would be cooling down the engine. If you're stuck in a ditch or something, you can get yourself out or you it's can It's a really pull. old one. <laughs> it's strong though. You can pull, you know, you can pull something out of out of the way, push it forward. No. Ready? Oh, got it. Has a, it has a different old style <laughs> yeah. opening. There's the latch there. So you press it down and move it like that. Oh my. Oh. Gonna go for a cruise? The first time see, uh, getting inside this, even though we had it parked in front of our house, I never saw inside. Yeah. But it's you can, so basic. What you can do is open up the, this window here. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe I'll do that. And then you got instant was... air conditioning. It doesn't have any air condition, right? No. And look here, it doesn't have much stuff inside, it's only this much. You need to be taller. Oh, that's true. Oh, it, it doesn't come off? It does, it actually goes forward. Okay. You uh, lift this lever here. Imagine you using this for the world war, yeah. like bombs coming from everywhere. You just go. All right, I'm getting in this side here. Come on in. Jump in. Jump in, let's go. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, it has all the <laughs> It's got the horn. It's very basic, very basic vehicle. Yeah, it's 
steering wheel. It's not nothing similar to what we have now. <laughs> no fancy knobs or switches. Just, well, you got all these uh, shifter pieces, so you can. What are these things? That is a gear. One is for the winch, uh, for the gear. Is that this a is switch for sending bombs? Like, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> And here is the engine. Oh, this is your heater. You would open this up to warm yourself. Oh, so if really? If it's really cold, the engine would be hot, right? Oh, so you put your hand inside. Yeah. It's a fireplace. It's kind of like a fireplace. <laughs> and then if it got too hot and it was starting on fire, you have your fire extinguisher right there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a fire extinguisher. Oh. Yeah. There is a window here. Yeah. It's like. Is the prisoners okay back there? That's where you put the prisoners? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go out the window and navigate for you. Is that what they do? Yeah. This is your Google map. What? Yeah, this is your Google map. <laughs> okay. Ah! So you, you talk like a Google map from there. <laughs> Turn left. Turn left at the next intersection. <laughs> <laughs> there is no intersection though. Avoid the bomb coming. <laughs> Go. Give me the machine gun. <laughs> oh, that's what they do? Yeah, they can like shoot up there. Oh my god. I think it's mo because your line of sight is very limited. It's the small windows. I mean, you're protected in here, but very small windows. But if you really want to like maneuver, you can't see behind you. You really rely on your navigator and it's like, okay, you need to turn, keep going, keep going. This here is your engine. It's in your fireplace. 3.5 liter engine, straight cylinder. The date of manufacture was May 3rd, 1944. 44. Made in Canada. That's the symbol. Vehicles that were made in Canada had this tag. Oh, we gotta use the wiper blades. <laughs> it's all manual. You That's have to... stupid. In the middle of a bar, you cannot do that. I know. Especially if it's raining really hard and you just, ah, just a second. And then this is for the washer. You turn it on, you spray it. This is super cool. It's so fun to have because, you know, you, you're really right in the history. You know, yeah. somebody sat here at one point and who knows what they were looking at or what they they saw, right? They traumatized it. Yeah. Who knows somebody died in it? Yeah. The, oh, that's creepy. The heroes. Oh my gosh. All right. Hi. So we have here is our fuel tank. You can fuel it up right here. Some fuel. And then you got some tools on this side. Also, you have some tools on the other side. I believe it's a shovel. Two for what? To dig the grain? <laughs> yeah, you might have to. Or dig a trench. Or, you know, your tire might get stuck and you have to dig it out. Oh, and you have an extra spare tire. Spare tire there. We got jugs of oil, so if you need to do an oil change or the vehicle is losing oil, you know, you have extra oil. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. could probably even put more fuel in here too. You see that old lock? I don't Somebody have the key. Somebody locked it one day. <laughs> I don't have the key for it. So we got some extra storage here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you'd put there, maybe. Bombs? Some extra tools, some bombs. <laughs> this is for car carrying people and like transporting people, people and equipment. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily for like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Shovel. Shovel. Uh, this is where you get your spare tire out. You just unscrew this. This drops down, and then you can just roll the tire down. Nice and easy. This is used as like a ramp. Oh, okay. So these tires are really heavy. So, you know, you kind of want to make it as easy as possible. It just comes down on a ramp. You replace your tire. You put your bad tire back up on there oh, and you roll okay. it back on. So this is the fuel tank here on this side. Uh-huh. And other cans of fuel. And another storage some box. Storage. Got some rope.
And these tires are massive. Uh, the rim is 20 inches. And then I don't know how, how much taller the tire actually is. License plate? Yeah. Okay, so we keeping this as a storage basically. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of construction stuff inside. Uh, an old fireplace. <gasps> so they they transfer people inside this, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so all the soldiers will go inside. What right. are the prisoners? You could carry prisoners as well. You'd have to have them guarded though. Oh, it's not gonna go all the way down. But this is for your feet. You put your foot in there and then you can, it, oh, it's, it's like easy to step. get up. Everything's thought through. And then you go into it. You're my prisoner now. I captured you. <laughs> it's pretty strong. So, in this bag here, we have a canopy that would allow, you know, us to cover, cover it. And then you can stay c covered. <laughs> <laughs> so under here, you'll see one of the biggest winches. Uh, that's the winch right there. It's so massive. That can pull a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video about our army truck. This was all set in World War II. We also have other props and costumes for World War II. One of the things that we wanted to do was actually make a full featured film about my aunt and uncle. They met in the war, they fell in love and got married. So it would have been a really cool story. Uh, my uncle, my great uncle, he drove a truck. He actually drove a tank and he flew airplane, like, or, well, he flew in airplanes, did paratrooping, all that kind of stuff. And my aunt, my great aunt, she served in the war as a nurse in Britain. So lots of cool history uh, and interesting stuff, but we never got a chance to actually film the, the movie, but maybe it's something that we'll do in the future. So yeah, uh, for, people from India, we only study about this war in the, you know, history books, right? But for his side, what happens is his four grandparents are from four different countries. So he have a peop his family from Germany and one side of his grandpa is from Britain mm -hmm. and one is a Dutch and one is Norwegian. Norwegian yes. So they all are in that middle of the war, right? So yeah. they have more personal stories about the war uh, so they are kind of attached to these wars <laughs> somehow so they collect all these pieces and they wanted to make the movie yeah uh, so yeah so this is one piece and we have a few more other pieces which he like to show if anybody's interested i don't know if people like to see this but yeah, yeah let us know let us know in the comments so what you guys think show. about it and mm -hmm. if you have any questions we are happy to answer that so yeah, anybody if ever wondered what a truck for the war looks like, this is what, this is the real truck. It's not any prop. This is the real guy here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what it is. And yeah, we will come back with some other video. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.